what's up tribe and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this look with the kinky curly drawstring ponytail and yes this video is sponsored by to all my black girls So first things first, and that is the braids. I installed the help of someone else to do my braids because your girl can't go and roll to pretty much save her life. For this style, you can pretty much do any size braids you want to. The main thing is that you leave enough leave out in the back so that it can go into a bun. And that's dependent on how much hair you have. Because I have shorter hair, it takes a little bit more leave out for me to achieve an actual bun. If you have longer hair, it's going to be easier for you to gather all that hair to create a large enough bun to attach the ponytail. Now before I install the actual ponytail, I always make sure that the ends of my hair have some type of oil on them and this is just really just to help with my 4C hair because as you know, if you have 4C hair, it does tend to get very dry very quickly. Then I just go ahead and comb that through to stretch my hair out a bit more and slick it into a bun. Keep in mind your bun doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to stay. If you pick a sun, you just Next, I take some bobby pins and get the combs that are attached to the ponytail so that I can put them into the proper position. It may take you more than one try to fit the combs where you would like them to be placed in your head, but afterwards you just pull the drawstring and then wrap that around a few times before finally placing a bobby pin. Next, I typically fluff the hair out and then I grab a single piece of hair and wrap that around a few times as well, securing it with a bobby pin to disguise the drawstring. And that's pretty much it. If you want your puff to have more volume, you can continue to pretty much just fluff it out. Just keep in mind that the more you manipulate the hair, the more frizz you accumulate, which is actually my preference because it's a lot closer to my natural hair texture. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.